Welcome to all of you once again, and uh, thank you for all. Thank you all for coming and sparing your time coming to the this uh, video conference. Uh, before we going further, uh, our uh, one of friends who resides in your ward, Chaitanya, she would like to share her uh, thoughts and views about NBF with all of you. And after which uh, we can uh, proceed further. Chaitanya, over to you. Thank you, sir. Uh, good evening, all, and welcome, everyone. Um, NBF Nama Bangalore Foundation is not a new name for the people who are uh, who have been at, who are attending the uh, meeting today, because NBF have been working with us for past four to five years. and they have been uh, working vigorously in bangalore especially in saving lakes of bengaluru and then uh, working with citizens to uh, against the uh, 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 commercial establishments which are illegally built and also they have been uh, working very hard during corona times and um, bringing awareness for masks and distribution of the mask and food distribution during corona uh, and lockdown and they have also a uh, nama bengaluru awards where they recognize people from all walks of life and the authorities and they have also uh, our uh, forest officials from turahalli were part of two of them were part of uh, nama bengaluru awards so that was a proud moment and coming to ward 198 they have been very uh um, uh you know forefront in fighting with us in saving and uh, protecting our lakes be it talgatpura lake or sompura lake they have been and they have also taken it to lokayukta we have been going with them and uh, they are uh, you know they have bought they have played a major role in bringing mp rajiv chandrashekar uh, to talgatpura lake and also lokayukta uh, justice um, vishwanath shetty also had visited talgatpura lake and uh, recently in february 2020 uh, jogi kere judicial layout uh, we are nama bangalore foundation along with uh, you know 198 ward had conducted makkala kere habba which was a grand success we had around 300 students from uh, nearby schools and bringing awareness and games it was a half day gala and which kids enjoyed and after that anyway they wanted to do more but uh, lockdown and things changed and uh, they have been with us all the time and uh, they are here today we uh, on behalf of citizens of ward 198 we welcome uh, nbf and uh, a great start to this great initiative that you have started and uh, and uh, we are glad that being the, uh, you know even it's being the last ward one which is 198 uh, you have taken a top priority to come to us and uh, share the grievances or take the grievances of our ward thank you and welcome uh, nama bangalore foundation thank you thank you chaitanya for that brief and sweet introduction so i think you have almost all covered uh, whatever we are doing with this but uh, just to say it uh, in one or two sentences uh nama bengaluru foundation ngo was founded in 2009 upon the demand from people to represent their voice to the government at all levels from bbmp to the state government so which we have been doing and uh, this is a platform for citizens voice we have supported citizens voice with all our might be it i mean whatever the causes uh, chaitanya has mentioned whether it is the lakes or uh, illegal uh, against illegal uh, commercialization or meat transparent functioning of uh, bbmp so uh, various other initiatives so uh, we have supported citizens voice and we will continue to support that uh, citizens voice 
And this is one uh, of the initiatives that we thought uh, we could uh, take up with uh, citizens of uh, each ward in Bengaluru, because as you know, the uh, terms of councillors got over uh, two months ago. So in the absence of councillors, you have a nodal officer selected and nominated to your ward who is supposed to do the same kind of work the uh, councillor used to do. The same kind of board committee meetings where you could go and share your uh, grievances, thoughts, and you know ideas and all these things. So that's how uh, it is supposed to happen. So that is fun. Secondly, the whole idea of this uh, series of uh, knowing rightfully, engaging locally, the objective behind this series is to give a platform for all the ward uh, citizens. RWEs, NGOs, all of you to come together and uh, share the challenges that you are facing now so that everybody uh, knows what is going on collectively. The present structure and process of BBMP, how and where we can place this so that we understand this challenge from our perspective, from the citizen perspective, as well as from the BBMP's perspective. And then collectively figure out a strategy to solve this, address this, these issues. And uh, that is why we are here. I hope uh, you all got the uh, details in the emails and the creatives and the WhatsApp messages. I will stop here right now. And uh, let us begin uh, with each one of you. I would like each one of you to share your uh, thoughts briefly. Uh, so that we hear each one of you and then uh, let us see how we go forward, right? So probably uh, Manjula ji, uh, you are right there on top of the screen. So could you unmute yourself and then uh, speak uh, briefly about what you think, what are the issues and how can we go forward? Uh, yeah, good evening. <laughs> Now, English you can not hear from Matar Goda to Hege English and Matar Beka. Layla can not the Lematar Tini. English and Lumatar Bodu. You can name Ilurgi, Kalurgi, Kanad Arta, get the Kastag Bodu. I mean, English and Matar the whole other Kutikalva. English Arta with the Kastag Bodu. Mix my matter. Okay. Oh. I am I am Anjula from Damanagi Sumoli's apartment, ward number 198. So we are situated in the uh, very heart uh, of Kanakapura Road, next to, to KSIT College. So on behalf of my our uh, apartment, I would like to speak something about some uh, this one about. Uh, so the main thing is on the on the roads and the footpaths and about the uh, lakes and uh, there are so many issues are there we have to sort it one by one so what is your suggestion which is a good point i think yes one by one yellow nu ottige thagondu maadlikke kashta agodu one we can that's a good point to note one by one yeah yes pratap avare you are on the screen can you please unmute yourself? Would you want to share a few thoughts? Sure, sure, sir. Sure, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. everyone. Good evening, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Loud and clear. Please go. Uh, good evening. Uh, I am from uh, SV Springwoods, uh, which is located uh, right in, uh, next to the Kanakura main road, next to Vajramaneshwara Temple Arch. Uh, I'm pretty new to this area. It's just about uh, one and a half years uh, I've shifted to this place. Uh, so, uh, if I have to say, like, one thing I've noticed actually, Manjula ji has also told the same thing roads uh, mainly. Uh, sir, what I observe, I don't know how far I'm uh, right. What I observe, the, the, there's not much of uniformity in the, uh, the, uh, the road work which is being carried out throughout Kanakapura Road. Uh, some part of the roads are done properly. Some part of the roads are done patchwork. 
which is very very uh, clear i don't know where is the problem is there a nexus between the contractors and uh, you know like the authorities but the road works are not proper at all and even the i think this is coming a decan around also like you know just about a couple of weeks ago this issue was has come as a news uh, clipping uh, even the footpath work uh, is very shabby which is been done the interlocks which has been put up the and the, the tiles are already coming up they they are just just getting you know like before even the inauguration of the road or the inauguration of the metro i think most of the footpath slabs will come up and which is actually like you know that this kind of a footpath is more dangerous to the pedestrians than you know not having a footpath so and road work is not at all uniform sir and uh, most of it's actually the uh, if we look at it you know like uh, i think the road work is 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 for a complete work it's not for a patchwork which is being given uh, so but many of the places it's actually patchwork is being done sir. that's what i observe and next one more thing is that the vajramaneshwara temple road uh, which is uh, the uh, which is very adjacent to our flat uh, that road it's become a garbage dumping yard Uh, and uh, like the, the road is not at all maintained uh, maintained at all and uh, the um, even the the shrubs and the uh, you know uh, the weeds and everything is covered with everything and it's become a uh, one uh, place uh, for you know if you go in that road on sunday i don't think any decent per, 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 you know, family can go in that road it's become a place for hooligans rowdies and you know all people who are drunkards in all the you know if you, if you go in that area the uh, road uh, opposite uh, after that uh, total uh, environment uh, total environment building so you will see a lot of people sitting and drinking and all this taxi drivers and all that's the kind of, that's a that's a major mess and a lot of i mean fights do happen there and we see on sundays sundays you know people coming with blood and their face and all those kind of things are happening wow. mm. yeah understand Oh, yeah so uh, let's see uh, let's go to ravish uh, ravish can you switch on the video and uh, if you can unmute yourself we could hear you ravish okay ha huh. oh let's go to bharati in that case bharati yeah ravish uh, has unmuted okay mata di ravish avare can you uh, come on video okay go ahead yes yes can you switch on the video ravish bharti avare bharti can you switch on the video and unmute and uh, okay so veda veda thavale yeah hello. hello yes yeah the uh, hi uh, i'm hd hebbar uh, we stay at uh, aditya layout uh, okay. of adjacent to the reshme nagar okay hello hello ಹಾಂ ಹೇಳಿ ಹಾಂ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿಚಾರ ಏನಂದರೆ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ದ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ ಟ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ ಯಾಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೇಔಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ರೋಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಲೇಔಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ನೈಸ್ ರೋಡ್ ಸೊ ಹೆವಿ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಸಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಲಾರೀಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ವೀಲರ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ವೀಲರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೊ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಸೊ ಅದೊಂದು ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಇದೆ ದು ವೆನ್ ಯು ಅನಲೈಸ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ರೋಡ್ಗಳು ಯಾವ್ದು ಇರೋ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಔಟ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ರೋಡ್ಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಡೌನ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಮೆಟ್ರೋ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಏನ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮೇಜರ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ನಾವು ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಫೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಹಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ನೈಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹಾರ್ಶ್ ಹಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ಲಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಎಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಫೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಹಿಯರ್ Yeah. And the garbage and other issues are common, okay, uh, like other layouts. Yeah. Yeah. 
Right. Right. Uh, you know, this starts from uh, uh, Metro Pillar number 247 on the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. on the double road. So, uh, um, then the road starts from Maria Mart. The Maria Mart uh, near the temple, yeah. Okay. Right, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, who do we go to next? Yes, thank you, sir. We'll come back to you. We'll look at the issues one by one. And... Uh, uh, can we... Uh, Hello, sir. Go to Vishala. Huh? Yes, somebody spoke. Yes, Manjula. Uh, I have just said, okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah. So, uh, somebody is entered with, uh, okay, Vishala Pradeep. Uh, yes, sir, we can see you. And uh, yes, please go ahead. Hey, good evening. Uh, I'm a good resident evening, sir. of Shoba Sanskrit. I've been living there for the past 10 years. I'm the early resident. I'm currently in USA. Uh, one common uh, repetitive uh, issue that I find whenever I visit is the road between uh, Talagatpura Junction, that is Nice Road Junction to the Shoba Sunscape and beyond, is uh, either uh, with uh, potholes Security wise, it is a little uh, scary uh, in late in the evenings. And uh, these are the main issues I have. Uh, probably if it is addressed, that would be nice. So let me uh, make it uh, one thing clear to all of you guys. So we are not the BBMP, we are not the solution providers, but we are the facilitators, a connection between yeah. you guys and the government, right? Yeah. So we will yeah. do our best to connect all of you to the uh, local authorities and the BBMP and uh, facilitate that interaction and see how uh, we uh, can move forward, right? Uh, Saurav has uh, raised his hand. Saurav, would you want to come on the video, please? <laughs> yeah, hello. Hi, hi Saurav. Yeah, hi everyone. So I am from Soba Arena. Uh, we have uh, we are in very new project right besides uh, the Kanakpura Road, besides the Vakil Garden. Uh, one major concern that we had was that uh, uh, Kanakpura Road is being paved right now, and the speed of the traffic has really increased. And uh, we are right opposite the Gyan Swikar School. Uh, there is a cut which comes inside into judicial layout, second cross. Uh, there. What we, we I had also put on BBMP website also a request for speed bumps like we have at Corona Kunte Cross because there is a school right there and uh, the traffic which has to merge into Kanakpura Road it's sometimes it gets very risky with the speed of uh, traffic increasing so uh, we were looking to uh, I mean uh, looking for help with regards to that uh, another help that we wanted was um, uh, right across our uh, project. Uh, we have two mobile uh, towers which are very close to the campus. And earlier it was there was nothing there. Now there are two residential towers that have come up. So it has become a major concern for all the residents because there are a lot of kids and the towers are within like 40 meters. One is right beside our children parking. So if uh, any sort of assistance could be provided uh, with regards to that, that. Uh, yeah. removal of Sir, whom towers. did you whom did you say you put up this uh, request to? So there is a BBMP website uh, where you can uh, put this request. Uh, I think uh, I forgot, but 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 I mentioned the location and why I wanted the right. speed bumps there. Did you but did you get an acknowledgement? Um, I don't think so. We never got an acknowledgement. But okay. there is some we'll, we'll come back to this. Now, uh, as I hear from uh, whatever whoever I heard from, it looks like we are coming to the core of the issue, which uh, we will discuss uh, towards the end. Ramesh uh, Krishnamurti, probably, I don't know, uh, it's, uh, Ramesh he, uh, has put out the hand, please, sir, uh, on yourself and you, let us see you and let's hear from you. 
uh yes sir good evening uh, thank you very much for organizing this um so basically i have uh, uh, three points to which to make see one is uh, i i represent uh, balaji layout um see um, uh, firstly on the on the development of balaji layout uh, from the last one year we see a deprived situation in balaji layout especially on the roads uh, one is uh, thanks to the shady work by the lnt on the ugd okay and we have give, given multiple oral and written uh, representation to our cooperator uh, and the mla personally visiting them um, but but we often see that there's no there's no funding and things like that and in in few months back the work had started but some vested interest uh, uh, stopped some of the work and then uh, uh, for, for for their best known reasons and uh, the roads are very very internal interior roads are very very dusty and a lot of people have uh, uh, injured themselves especially the aged people so it's very bad condition there so that is one thing which we need a uh, solution sir as early, at the earliest that is one thing if you could help us there because we have we have uh, uh, visited the corporator and the mla multiple times but um, it has yielded no no result they keep seeing saying that there's no funding there's no po uh, work order or something like that so that is one thing second thing is i think uh, uh, the systemic issues uh, especially whenever we put a request in the namma namma bengaluru app too right so especially for any street light maintenance mm. or things like that the they get mm. they just uh, closed without any resolution we need to do every multiple times and then it gets uh, mm. uh, whenever it gets escalated uh, to the third level only then they do it so my question is uh, mm. the the especially the street light uh, vendor who gets the contract maintenance contract i think it's it's, it's a big amount for the 198 watt itself yes. what is he doing it because he, he is his responsibility i think there should be a metric for him right so that there's no complaint where, where, during the during that period i think we need to get on to the systemic level unless otherwise we depend we depend on even, even for a street light repair we should not reach corporator we should the system should take care of i think we are completely bad on that i think this is where i think this kind of nbf i think if they can help us with the systems i think it would be of great help uh, people can use a system people are willing to use a system so that is one thing and the third point lastly i'll keep it very short the 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 uh, entrance of uh, 100 feet road from the kanakpur road till uh, uh, i think ganigra palya there's huge of multiple uh, uh street vendors and uh, the especially till bangalore one the roads on either side is completely halfway blocked uh, by uh, completely uh, parked vehicles uh, we have given representation to our uh, traffic police uh, but but of no no use they have they just say okay we we'll look into it but so far nothing has been done if you can see on either side of the roads it is half done uh, halfly halfly uh, half of the road is blocked and there's absolutely no footpath uh we can walk through and uh, now the metro is coming up there's no footpath and uh, up and more yeah, likely yeah. there's no parking at all for the metro new upcoming stations so that is the my point sir thank you yeah. i had the same question right, regarding sir. parking i mean uh, one point that has uh, stuck out in uh, yeah one uh, one point that came out was uh, people are saying that there is no uh, money there right okay we'll come to that yeah who would like to go up next uh, yes mamata but madam please uh, switch on your video and you can unmute yourself yeah yes yeah hello everybody i am mamata from total environment the magic far away tree which is right on kanakpura road on the opposite uh, coca cola factory uh i mean our concerns are the same that everybody have mentioned one is uh, traffic and it just stalls on kanakpura road and second is garbage as uh, mr pratap mentioned the uh, back road um, of our uh, apartment starting from vajramuneshwara arch all the way till uh, uh, nice road intersection it be, it has become either a drunkards paradise or a garbage dump people uh, just dump their garbage and walk away and um, and even the uh, uh, at the side the um, bushes have grown very tall and i don't know if it belongs to nobody that uh, the health inspector doesn't come or uh, i mean i had raised this a couple times with uh, uh, 
krishnapa our uh, health inspector but uh, i don't know when he is going to come and that was one and this, uh, other was street light when we called the uh, uh, bescom person to fix the street light he said like um the fittings are different or something like he gave some excuse out of uh, six he fixed two and went away uh, things like that but one thing that i would like to suggest is because the metro uh, station is coming up uh, right in front of our apartment the traffic or um, pedestrians um, movement is going to increase so something that um, bbmp can take care is like proper footpaths and you know, proper lighting so nobody is hurt because there are a lot of incidents of uh, people getting mugged or like you know have um, stopped and uh, um, i mean like robbed and all that so we want this to be a safe place if at all we have to adopt or uh, a part of the road or uh, like you know help uh, be there when they are actually doing footpaths i mean i do volunteer my time to be there so it is like you know very safe and once uh, they, they do it once and go away so when they are doing that one time if they let us know when they are doing it we will be there to tell them as to what we need and make it a safe place for uh, everybody coming to the last stop because last stop means after that like you know there's um, people go in different directions but we definitely want it safe and lately i think this um, place has become slightly unsafe especially walkers or um, i'm a cyclist so um the road is uneven as somebody else mentioned and uh, so it's very difficult and a lot of people come from all over bangalore to cycle in thuralli and this area so um, i think we should maintain that rather than give um, precedence to 16 wheelers and uh, big trucks that's all that i have to say right so well, we take one point from you madam especially uh, you said you would like to involve yourself from the beginning in the planning stage itself how this can be done so that you can also monitor this this is the point that came through right if needed yes if needed yes i will uh, volunteer my time and so mm-hmm. they don't um, uh, i mean do a shoddy job and walk away like you know we can be there when they are doing and uh, don't have to like you know shun the responsibility yeah right excellent right so this is precisely the point of uh, the whole point of this whole discussion we are coming to the center the systemic point of this entire discussion which is uh, for example uh, i'll share a small presentation with you guys and then we can uh, carry on with our discussion so quickly right if you permit me i know uh, people have raised uh, hands i will come back to uh, all of them and let me quickly uh, give you a small item and then we can uh, go ahead right Seven. all right so Seven. roughly uh, each one of us are contributing 10000 rupees every year to the development of bengaluru 10000 rupees is not a small money you can talk about 100 200 that's fine so this is what we are spending from our pockets right now how does our local government which spends this constitutional backgrounds the karnataka municipal act the very new bbmp act of 2020 which was enacted just last week if you all know of this uh, this will be nice no so all these constitution kmc act all these acts give us the people of bengaluru bengalurians to take part from planning for our ward to the execution monitoring to keep account on how the money is spent for example uh, if you take this uh, 10000 crores that is being spent and roughly 200 boards each ward gets about 50 crores worth money and projects now if you take out the administration cost and uh, the big uh, uh, ward wise uh, projects at least anywhere between 25 crores to 30 crores comes to a ward this is your money right isn't it manjula this is this is your money isn't it yes, yes. so yes so we need to know where is this money of ours going 
every year, yes. right? Also, uh, the constitution twelfth uh, schedule says these are the kinds of work. There are eighteen kinds of functions the local government is supposed to do, starting from the roads and uh, poverty alleviation and uh, urban planning, including uh, the you know economic and social development. All this planning, promotion of educational as the uh, aesthetic aspects. is uh, done by bwssp is supposed to be done by bbmp so we'll there are lots of issues uh, that are being thrown up but these are the kinds now to do this bbmp has 19 departments right so each department will have a budget for example the lakes department will have a budget to spend money in the lakes we how much uh, is being spent the uh, on the lake in our ward we should be knowing and what is uh, that is being planned for that kind of work we should know so that we can take part and participate and keep a more you know watch on what's going on so these are the systemic things we should be looking at right okay so uh, <clears throat> that's about it so let me uh, come back to uh, the uh, the discussion part so somebody had raised the uh, hands uh, that has disappeared so uh, can we go to uh, pv san who is here uh, pv san uh, i don't know if that that's the name that appears on the screen so uh, would you like to uh, yes yes okay santosh that is <laughs> all right santosh go ahead please go ahead uh, santosh can you we can't hear you if anybody wants to speak uh, please uh, put out your hand there is a blue tick mark that can come up yes okay balaji has uh, okay balaji you want to go yeah yes thank you sir namaste Yes. i think Never. you you kind of already gave a prelude to the the first point that i had in mind one is how yes. do we get a a chance to participate in governing the total budget that we have um, i think Never. you kind of started that exercise the second one is in terms of uh, the the ward level participation of citizens in in the betterment has significantly gone up in the last uh, few years how do we get exposed given 198 is a extremely large ward how do we yes. get to know what's happening in the other wards i think uh, there are few things that we could easily lift and shift from a best practices standpoint um, because <laughs> well, most of uh, this to answer that question more or easy. less more or less the uh, administration uh, apparatus and the process is more or less same in all the wards okay so let's go ahead please yeah yeah the the last point that i had sir is in terms of uh, how do we elevate the accountability i think we all of us i think more, many of us who have been in this call have been using sahaya for raising complaints but mm. it just becomes another uh, crm application or ticketing system right i think i don't right. think we get any response at all and yeah uh, i think after some time even the most proactive ones kind of give give up on using this application we end up right. just calling people right. and hound, hounding people going to mls corporators and so on so what can be done in that so, respect yes yeah. now uh, are you aware of uh, what committee is balaji yes sir yep we are i think that's you... what i'm saying i think the first one i think yeah. uh, there are times where we get to know about this ward ward meetings and sometimes we don't even get to know about it and right. the times that we have in person joined those ward meetings we don't really get a very structured conversation uh -huh. right i think it ends up with just one topic and the the, pol uh -huh. the, the political muzzle power just swallows the whole time so right. there is no set agenda so now that uh, there is no counselor yeah now that there is no counselor and he is replaced by a nodal officer this nodal officer is the highest ranked officer who resides in your ward 
right so are you aware of this we as in, I, i think i've read about it but i haven't got a chance to even know who the nodal officer is as of now can we get yeah. a contact oh, of this nodal officer is that you would like yes 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 very much i will okay uh, in which case i'll uh, shall i share the uh, minutes of the meeting of this board committee which has all the details as well quickly just to you know take you through what's happening in your ward right yeah okay can you see this yes sir it's just this counting. is your ward uh, committee meeting minutes of uh, yeah 7th 7th november okay so they met on 7th uh, 7th november at 11:30 at bbmp samudaya bhavana kattadalli uh, they attended this meeting so uh, shri shimukumar is the nodal officer no huh? we will uh, share his number with you later shri shukumar so he is uh, the uh, karyapalaka abhiyantar executive engineer in uh, some other board i don't remember which board that is he works somewhere else but he is uh, from your ward so he is the nodal officer and then uh, inspector uh, shrimati anusuyamma took part uh, in that meeting right so uh, they uh, discussed about uh, covid they discussed about uh, kudiyu and neeru and uh, valacharandi drinking water and uh, sewage system uh, and the solid waste management system mm. but you know uh, these uh, vidyut deepagala uh, thing so somebody was saying uh, that the uh, lights are not uh, properly uh, lit in some uh, roads and therefore they are dark and all kinds of activities goes on so uh, there was some discussion there uh, and there was one uh, which i found uh, was uh, very interesting uh which was uh, somewhere here which i miss uh, uh, the point was uh, the bbmp lays bbmp has laid uh, some nice uh, roads newly tarred roads and uh, B, uh, bwsp has come and started digging this uh, newly laid laid road <laughs> this so, is uh, there is this uh, mismatch uh, in understanding and coordination therefore a newly ro- laid road also gets yes not only bwssb all the is uh, uh, bsn so anyway that, so uh, this is uh, what went down now <laughs> okay now the point here is this form for all of you to engage in okay so that your grievances can be heard locally not you know you know this online system of uh, you know registering your grievances which goes to the bbmp uh, head office and somebody looks at it and from the head office he can't come down to your ward to solve this now the whole point of this uh, bbmp of head office then uh, zonal setup zonal commissioner and zonal uh, office and the ward office is with the purpose that local issues should be solved at the local level that is the idea of decentralized system and this is the ward committee is the platform for all of you to engage in now that covid is on the physical attendance and discussion may have some kind of an issue there right so what we can look at is to have a safe meeting a uh, uh, you know a meeting like this a video conference meeting like this perhaps i don't know so i would like to take your suggestion can we suggest this kind of a uh, uh, video conference meetings with this ward committee members safe and sound 
and then discuss in a methodical uh, systematic manner one by one go one by one all these issues then take a commitment and then come back I mean, in fact they are supposed to meet uh, first uh, saturday and uh, third saturday in their uh, see now after the uh, council was dissolved the bbp commissioner uh, recognized the disconnect between the ward people and bbp and therefore in place of councillor he has uh, put in a nodal office for example there is no mayor uh, now therefore there is an administrator to perform the function of a mayor now here there is no councillor and therefore there is a nodal officer now to perform the function of a councillor so he is the one who will uh, look after all this so probably we need to uh, open this ward uh, forum to all of you and uh, you know bring in all these guys and uh, you know create that platform for a regular and constructive engagement so that is what we think right now but i don't know i will take your inputs how do you want to go about it so let's go on by one then uh, santosh uh, did you speak santosh santosh hello can you hear me yes hello. yes please yeah yes yeah i am santosh from talgatpura i want to yes. bring all of your people attention there is a lake just behind the nyana shikar school it's a big lake what's the name uh, it's a talgatpura lake talgatpura lake it's a totally abandoned condition that uh, Lot all the waste water going there is full of algae. It's fully covered with the green algae. Is that? It's a very good lake, very very wide, big lake. So this has to be preserved for our water. So by, right. see, for the water study, it is that the Bangalore is going to be water scarcity. That so we have to be ready for that. Yes. It's our yeah. duty to preserve this lake. Yes. Yeah, we will do that now. we we'll look into this so let's discuss this so, santosh is the lake fenced from all the sides no it's not fenced all is uh, is dump dump yeah okay now uh, i think uh, while talking about uh, lakes i think chaitanya will have some input chaitanya would you want to uh, come on the board and uh, uh yes sir yes uh Uh, regarding Talgatpura Lake, uh, MP Rajesh Chandra Shekhar sir had come. Loka Yogta Justice uh, um, uh, Vishwanath Shetty had come. The thing is, unless the uh, sewage that is coming to the lake as is, is stopped, and this uh, you know we are uh, going to uh, we were going to uh, Loka Yogta and hearing cases, and BWSS, BBB MP were all called. Though the uh, you know five crore has been sanctioned for the lake for, to be developed, unless the uh, but the DPR uh, yeah we haven't got the DPR yet. But the thing is, unless the uh, sewage is controlled and uh, you know direct, otherwise it will be directed elsewhere. The, uh, usually, when the lake develops, they will let it down the stream. and the other lake will be uh, you know contaminated or the downstream will be contaminated we are we uh, the, the ugd has not been uh, you know done here and so the sewage is been directly let into the lake unless we find a solution for the ugd and the sewage is uh, collected and uh, processed properly and we had also spoken to uh, the bwssb who are planning to make the stp downstream near coca cola factory so we had requested them to uh, make one above near talgatpura lake so that the process uh, water uh, you know the treated sewage water could be let into the lake instead of letting the untreated sewage okay. Okay. so now, it's a huge know, area yeah we don't know what is in this micro uh, spending no? we don't know we don't have uh, no we don't know as of now it is nothing is being done so uh, yeah we don't know what is being done the dpr is not uh, we did not get uh, you know uh, the um, we get did not get to see the dpr and uh, so, yeah i mean uh, the thing is we are going slow on it because uh, the thing is the corporator also has you know has changed now so the not uh, work has not started yeah. okay let's look at this uh, oh, yeah okay let's look at it then uh, VK Srivatsa, VK Srivatsa, please. 
Good evening, sir. Srivats, sir. Yes, good yeah. evening. Uh, could you please Sorry, switch my on video the? Uh... Not, my, my video may not uh, on because I have some connectivity issues. Uh, right. No problem, sir. Go on. So, uh, thank you for giving this opportunity and uh, reaching out to Ward 198, which is one of the last uh, ward and uh, also least in development. Uh, so, we are we have only one satisfaction that now they are increasing the number of wards and our wards will come in between. Uh, we will not be the last ward now. That is the one uh, satisfaction we have. <laughs> That's one numerical satisfaction, isn't it? <laughs> numerical satisfaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, it is okay, very difficult ahead, to uh, point out any one point in Ward 198 because we have so many issues. Uh, I don't want, if you go right. go that entire meeting will lost because uh, since you, you spoke yeah. about the things i just wanted to bring some of the uh, information to your attention that uh, yes. act ward 198 we don't have any bbmp official office uh, in ward 198 the, in bhl layout some association office they're using as a bbmp office and uh, if, you, if you see the geography of ward 198 we have kanakpura road and as well as mysore road and always this uh, where, wherever we are all of us now mm. meeting or all of, most of them most of us from kanakpura road and if mm. you have to reach a uh, road uh, that office for ward committee meeting, it will be eight to ten kilometers. And uh, for almost mm. uh, two years, we are requesting them to conduct alternate meetings, one at Mysore Road, one at uh, Kanakpura Road, which is not at all happening. And uh, okay. and most of the time, we don't even get, know when the ward committee meeting happens. Sometimes suddenly they will uh, just put photos after the ward committee meeting. That today ward committee meeting has happened. Then only we right. can know is one thing. Right. And the right. thing is that. Uh, uh, I, after this COVID, uh, I myself requesting them that uh, let us have a uh, virtual meeting and I myself uh, offered them that I can uh, uh, set up a Zoom call uh, and they are not interested to do that hmm. because they are not ready to do that because if you can help us. Whom did you, whom, whom did you speak to? Whom did you speak to Srivat sir? I spoke to corporator. Whom did you speak to Srivat sir? I, I spoke to corporator and I spoke to my huh. AE who is the chairperson of the... Right. Uh, meeting. I spoke to both of them and I offered them that I will set up the Zoom meeting, but they're not. Yeah. Thing. So, yeah. Uh, a is the secretary. Now, corporator is, is replaced the secretary by and the corporator nodal is a chairperson. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I understood. Yeah. And, uh, and other right. thing that nodal so, officer uh, is not from our ward. He is from Jainagar uh, BBMP and he doesn't know anything. No, 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 no. He works. He works in Jainagar yeah. as the executive engineer, but uh, his re residence. Uh, must be in your ward. He is a resident of your ward. I spoke to ward. him a couple of times, sir. He doesn't have the knowledge of our ward. Uh, he he doesn't even know the geography. I see. Of... Maybe he is. Maybe he is uh, from the neighboring ward. Correct. Correct. Uh, but uh, the commissioner has made it very clear that the nodal officer should come from the same ward, or at least from the neighboring ward. Uh, that is the uh, criteria that they have selected. What we, we can do, uh, she was in that case, we will uh, connect with this nodal officer, discuss with them, and uh, see that uh, if we'll uh, push him to come on board with us like this, uh, so that everybody can safely sit at their home and interact with uh, the ward committee. Let us see how far we can go. So I think probably we can take this first step because all the uh, issues uh, that we have discussed should be discussed with BBMP officers and officials like this at the ward level, right? So let us, uh, that's a good uh, beginning uh, point, I think. Let's, uh, let's uh, hear from others as well. Uh, yeah, Chaitanya, you must again have raised your hand. So shall we uh, look at others uh, as well and then come to you? Sir, it is and, myself. Uh, Rajat Kulkarni, would you want to speak, sir? Okay. Who else uh, other than Chaitanya wants to speak now? Can uh, if, if, if you want to on your uh, video and then uh, say, I want to raise your hands, then we can. Uh, Vishala Pradeep. I, I spoke a little while ago. Yes, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. So I, I think uh, most of you guys have uh, spoken. So it looks like... Uh, Subramanya, would you want to speak, sir? Uh, sure, sir. So, um, 
So, you know, um, I think I wanted to make a couple of points. One is regarding the ward yeah, committee. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Regarding yes. the yes. ward committee meetings, I think, you know, compared to how it used to happen earlier, uh, you know, when, when I say earlier, during the time uh, when the, you know, BBMP had corporators, it is happening more regularly now. I myself uh, is uh, one of the regular uh, person who is attending there at least once in a month. It is regularly happening twice in a month nowadays because first Saturday and the third Saturday. And uh, I think, uh, you know, um, the discussions are happening more constructively. Yes, yes I think, you know, with the you know, people, uh, it's COVID time. I think people are scared to go. Number two, as it is mentioned already, it is a bit far away. But I think, you know, I take, I take one comfort point that, you know, you know, you know, these are happening regularly and I think it's happening more constructively. That's number one. The other point I wanted to mention uh, is that, you know, this also is raised uh, in terms of the metro stations. There is absolutely no parking that is planned. And uh, the footpaths are going to be a major problem uh, and also pedestrian crossings. Uh, this is uh, going to be there. And uh, in addition, uh, I think, you know, this 198 ward being on the outskirt, there is a lot of uh, vacant, uh, uh, you know, uh, vacant slots. We even do not know what all these are part of the government lands. You know, for example, we are hearing in terms of there are uh, what you call as gomalas, right? You know, which is the government land, nobody should uh, occupy it and things like that. And these should be preserved plus in addition, the CA sites, right? So many a times, you know, whenever some dialysis center or anything mm -hmm. has to come up with, you know, people struggle to identify because it has become a sort of things to, you know, put the onus on uh, citizens, saying you you find out the place we will do it sort of thing you know which is the not the citizens job but that kind of thing i think you know if uh, if there is any way to help you know identify such locations and preserve it right for the sake of public so that you know there is no illegal construction coming up in those areas and things like that i think that would uh, really help in addition yeah. the last point i wanted to make is that there are two villages in this ward which are voting for BBMP, not at in uh, BBMP, uh, because of the technical reasons. And uh, the though they were part of you know 111 villages earlier in 2006, uh, and uh, you know those two villages were left out for unknown reasons. And again, there was one amendment done recently, uh, you know, as last month. Again, there was. Horrible technical uh, mistakes that happened uh, in that notification. Uh, you know, both these villages, Mallasana and Uttarali Manavarta Kaval, are uh, voting for BBMP. But when it comes to the facilities, they are left out of that. So these are the um, you know main things uh, that I wanted to draw your attention, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Right. So I take one very good point from you, sir, which is the database of public spaces in your ward, right? So how much of public space is available in that ward? Where are they? And how is that being used now? And how can that be used later on? So these public spaces, which belongs to the government, which is our uh, common resources, needs to be identified and specified so that everybody knows this is where they are. And in future, how we can, so that we can uh, use it. So, uh, okay, can we, I think we have uh, almost there at eight o'clock, almost one hour. Let's uh, look at one uh, last, probably uh, Prashant. Prashant, would you want to uh, share some of your thoughts? Hi. Uh, yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, actually, uh, I'm Prashant here uh, from Aditya Levert, uh, uh, from the kind of adjacent to an Balaji Levert. Uh, I think... To an award committee, everyone has been there. Was in a debate between this thing and and uh, now just uh, Subramanya sir has showed how uh, committed and ward committee is happening. Uh, actually, early initially, I too have visited the ward committee meeting 
uh, the things and this thing. And you also show the how the me- minutes of the meeting is going to uh, disclosed. But whatever in the discussion in the ward committee meeting, how it has been implemented till now, there is no any update. Yeah. Or I may be I may be uh, not known. Uh, but one thing is true. I have followed up in the first two ward committee where I have presented the some of the issues of the drainages and these things with regard to the. Uh, Reshminagar or somewhere the near uh, and these things still nothing has been moved out in that cases where the in uh, during uh, the rainy season and this thing uh, it is in a very big problem and also in now uh, in the summer and winter and all actually in a uh, drainage systems which is just uh, Chaitanya Madam also told we, it was going to flow to directly to an a Talgarpura Lake uh, that is in a big uh, things yes. so uh, you know, there is no any output or the updates, whatever we have presented, whatever they have he, uh, heard in the meeting. So how mm. that is going to take place? But that is the point number one, which right. I want to tell. Yeah. And I will. Uh, yeah. I have got three points. Uh, and with regard to second point, I just if I have to tell, here near in a Talgatpura Lake, uh, neighboring to that, in a very big uh, and a water supply, uh, uh, mafia kind only kind of which we can tell in, uh, in spite actually that has been uh, taken place where from very adjacent to any drainage system and these things the water will be pulled out but actually almost it will go to Bayan Palya or up to uh, the uh, Dorkal Sandra also they are going to visit and deliver the water those people will not know it has been brought to a notice that there is uh, as per my understanding, there should be a certain certain criteria and a license also to the supply of the water tank. But these people, nothing is uh, having, uh, as per my knowledge, because once we have, I have uh, just uh, inquired privately also with the two mm. private uh, water supplier. No, they have not got any of those kind of things, and they are uh, and a highly influential by the some of the political big guys. Uh, whatever the background, I I am not aware. But uh, it will be uh, in a harmful to the who is taking that water. That is also one thing. And uh, it, it cannot happen like that way. That is the big uh, things. Uh, water supply by the private, this thing, without any permission, filtration or anything. And that to adjacent to the uh, Talgatpura Lake and the some of the drainages, uh, these things. How, the, how much water purification has been done and right. uh, delivery, okay, that is very important. That is the one. And point number three, I think it is in a very big and the last issue. The thing is uh, adjacent to any, uh, if you know, uh, parallel to the Kanakpura main road where the metro is going, there is in a BWSP, SPSP uh, pipeline road also. Uh, even Srivatsa sir has been already uh, taken up to up to BWSP and this thing and all. Now this at any point of time, can we convert? Because many of the areas, which is uh, from the right side, uh, I have, if I towards uh, Kanakpura, if I have to st- say, uh, if we stand uh, towards right side of the Kanakpura road, from 80 feet road, more than that, actually, uh, fully the this pipeline road can be in a parallel to the light vehicle, like in a uh, two wheelers and the cars. So the traffic of the or the cycling at least. So for that, actually, the thing is, this road has to be developed at least for the uh, cycle or the motorcycle, such kind of things from bridle not any heavy vehicles. That should be in a barricade, those things and all. Uh, I think near Manjunatha Temple, there, once they have put the things or the barricade, means uh, high vehicle, heavy vehicle, this thing and all. But uh, they, uh, if they put also these people will uh, just damage and remove those things. If I'm not wrong, Shivatsa sir, I think he, he has no more about those things. Uh, so these are the three things. Can we uh, propose in a beautiful way and a parallel road of this, which is uh, continuous from more than nice road uh, from uh, uh, very far. Uh, uh, this 280 feet road, it is there. It can be improved and it can be in a minimize the main road traffic also. And it will be helpful for the right side layout from BSK 6 all these kind of right. so are everywhere. So these three points. Right, yes. yes. Now, uh, from your uh, <coughs> point of view, uh, Prashant, what comes through is you have given them certain issues to work on, some solutions as well, but the accountability is not there. What happens after that? No. What 
happen yes. to yeah right so we need to build that accountability right and therefore in the exactly. board committees it's uh, being discussed is one thing implementation is the other thing which we need to build accountability and we need to monitor uh, at least 15 days once at least once in a month so that we need to build into the board committees now let us try to build this accountability into board committee meeting and the follow ups right so i think we can uh, summarize this so all the issues that has been raised are valid and that needs to be discussed in the ward committees because that is where the things needs to be solved at the local level one secondly that has, that needs to be made accountable with a time frame maybe you know fixed it in certain certain period this is what is going to happen this is how that can be solved right and the third point is uh, now it's very heartening to see that uh, people like uh, subramanya do attend uh, the ward committee meeting Now, there are nice things that are happening but not all of us uh, are uh, able to go there and attend so can we have this what meetings in a virtual platform like this so that everybody can see what's happening everybody can participate you know, can we do that and uh, when manjula ji started uh, in the beginning let us go one by one of all these issues roads footpaths and street lights and garbage so can we pick at least one to begin with can we start one issue in one small area demonstrate that we can get it solved locally so can we you know i understand from all of you that we everybody has an issue in their locality everybody wants to get it solved so at least in this platform let's target one small thing in a small area let let us see that we get a solution for this and set it right so that it becomes a model to work in other areas in the world so is that a uh, appropriate way to approach this uh, prashant yes exactly that's what that, that be, i am expecting some yeah. Yeah, somebody was yes, saying sir. something yeah, yeah that would be a very good, somebody very good one that would be a very good uh, yeah, i think pilot uh, we have to start with yes yes so let us start small because you know uh, if you take up uh, all the things that in your plate we may not be going anywhere we will be spreading ourselves too thin to achieve anything let's small uh, start with a small issue the small area solve it and then move forward fair enough ramesh yep that will be yes. great yes yeah manjula ji what do you think sir yes sort as it is it uh, as it is it says it is kanakapura road so this them starts of all over the kanakapura road the first and foremost mm. we have to see that the road has to be clearly it should be maintained and we should stop these people the telecom people the, the one who always for one or the other uh, internet to the uh, apartments that we should stop we should uh, let have yeah i know right the, uh, there is one let's uh, hear uh, from sudhakar and then probably we will wind up and then uh, we will see how to move forward sudhakar up yeah hi can you hear me yeah, sudhakar please uh, go ahead yeah. yeah sorry see uh, basically one point i wanted to make i know all of the uh, issues have been identified and you know raised here on the forum but we i come from a uh, banshankri six stage bda layout area where we are kind of a caught in a that you know in a, a kind of trishanku situation because nor bda is helping us nor bbmp is helping us when we approach some of the issues bda says are that you, it, so the, uh, are you saying that you are not from this ward i am from the 198 ward uh, we are staying behind talagatpura okay so see Asha. that's what we have a okay. tricky situation any issues we want to address or raise it to the authorities mm -hmm. we are sent from post to pillar the reason being we are from the bda layout garbage collection for example is a they say it's a bbmp duty and of course with lot mm -hmm. of uh, pressure they are coming and collecting it but they say no no we don't cover the bda areas because we are bbmp only same thing for street <laughs> lights yeah bbmp yes. says no it's a bda area we do it but we vote for bbmp Uh, yeah. when we bring this to the uh, you know uh, the kind attention of our corporator he says see bda i cannot do much if you are in bbmp area i would have helped you so
so it's like you know we are unable to understand our voting is with the we vote for the same uh, you know uh, person this is something could you could you uh, sudhakar could you please switch on the video yeah sure yeah, <coughs> yeah hi one second yeah hi uh, sir Pardon? now let us be very clear <laughs> Sir, uh, Subramanian, may I add one more thing on top of what uh, Mr. Sudhakara mentioned? See, it is an extension, it's a BDA extension, which uh, I believe, you know, it was formed in 2004 or 5 around that time. And till today, even after 15 years, I think the town planning has not been approved for that. That's why, you know, that is being neglected. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't. I don't understand the situation. Look, the BDA layout was developed and given to people, right? There, I mean, they uh, may have developed some infrastructure. When it is handed over, there ends their job. So now that area becomes the property of BBMP. You are saying that it is not handed over. It, Correct. Is that clear, uh, Subramanya? Are you saying yeah, that yeah. it is not handed over? To it's BBMP? not handed. It's not handed over. Well, we need to check the technicalities of it because it's a natural process that once BDA has done their job, it's naturally shifted to BBMP so that all the uh, you know, for example, the civic services in BBMP area, like for example, garbage, should be handled by BBMP. BDA cannot come and uh, handle this, right? So it's natural. So let's look at the technicality, what has happened there, and uh, sort this issue. Uh, uh, sir, the problem, uh, the problem is that, uh, sir, the, the problem is that they were supposed to complete all the job and hand it over to BBMP. Because of the funds, they are not done many, many jobs in uh, the BDL. It's incomplete. That is why they don't want to take take it take it up. That is the reason it is uh, in between now. It is not going. And other, other thing is that there are BDA and BDA uh, extension. So the extension is in uh, in a big uh, th uh, thing that it is it cannot be handed over also because uh, the right. planning approval has not come and there are a lot of court cases going on with the uh, landowners that is not getting vacated by the officers. So these are all the problems. Right. With yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, Subramanian, I think uh, we are fairly with a uh, common understanding. We can take this forward. Now, the uh, point number one, like we were saying, uh, the best uh, platform to discuss this with the authorities, BBMP, whoever it is, is uh, what community meetings. Let's make it more transparent and accessible to all the people and more in the ward uh, with a platform like this. Uh, is that a, a good point to begin, uh, Subramanian? Uh, yes, sir. So, I mean, that that's one thing. I think, you know, in terms of access, right, you know, uh, people yes. will feel very comfortable if the ward committee meetings are done over uh, a platform like this. Uh, definitely, that would be a great point to begin. Uh, but I yes. think, you know, where... where uh, you know, some kind of a push is required, right? You know, in terms of some of the issues that were raised in terms of the whole uh, shabby work of Kanakpura Road, the lack of footpaths, the encroachment of footpaths and things like that. I think that is where, you know, if NBF can push from top down, right? You know, things yes. may get a bit better. Uh, no, uh, yeah, right now. There is a systemic way to approach this one. Let us make a list of uh, problems or challenges that is discussed here and prioritize them. We will not be able to take all of them, at least a few priority wise, right? Let us try to push it at the ward level. And if that doesn't happen, then let us take it up at the zonal level. If that doesn't happen, let's take it to the commissioner level, right? So let's go step by step. Rather than we are trying to, see, you know, the whole point of this exercise is to solve the issues uh, at the local level. If that doesn't happen, let us see how uh, we can ex escalate it to the next level and get it solved. Fair enough? Yeah, sir. Uh, from our side, what we can do is, uh, you know, some of these issues we can list out, put it in a letter and uh, hand it over to NBF uh, so that, you know, uh, that can be tracked uh, going forward. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So in clear. the meantime, uh, we'll uh, try to catch hold of uh, our uh, new uh, nodal officer and uh, discuss with him to come on a platform like this, right? Yeah. Right. So uh, next time uh, we meet like this, we hope uh, the ward committee officers and the nodal officers will be uh, with us like this to discuss. Is that a good uh, way to end this yeah, meeting? Thanks, and one, one more solution from my side is, see, uh, yes. I think we should give a little bit more structure to the even the ward committee meetings also. Although, you know, yeah. Mr. Supramit has said, you know, there's a lot of things has improved in the ward committee meetings. So maybe yes. maybe some areas of improvement where it can be done is today you know the the regular maintenance issues and the uh, short term development issue uh, issues and the and the long term development issues get mixed up. Uh, so uh, and um, even uh, even at the federation level, well, all the there is a federation where all the association RWS are there, but there they we are ending up uh, uh, talking about only the regular maintenance issues, you know where uh, the regular maintenance issue should go automatically right. get it done. That's the accountability of the, at the A level or AWE level, which is not here happening. I think that should go on. We should rather at this NBF level, at the federation level, we should focus yes. on more on short term uh, and, then, and then the long term strategic developments where there is an integrated development, that kind of a thing. So maybe, so we should give uh, I think yes, more sir. structured approach. Uh, that's where we can uh, maybe, um, uh, that's that's how the uh, things will can happen very seamlessly. That's what yeah. I think. Yes, Subramanya, the name of the game is money that is coming to your ward. So any work that happens in your ward happens with the kind of money that is being spent. We need to track this money at the ward level as well. So how much money is coming to my ward? How much is being spent on what projects, right? So, for example, uh, just give me one minute to share one uh, detail with you so that you will understand what's going on. So, these are the things we need to discuss. Can you see the screen, Subramanya? Yes, we can. Yeah, yeah you can see this. So yeah. now, uh, these are the kinds of works that are uh, going on in your ward. Uh, first, uh, you know, uh, this you can access from the uh, website of uh, BBMP and figure out, is this the kind of work that is going on in my locality, my area? What's going on? How much money is being spent? So can I have details, right? So this is the kind of uh, watching system, monitoring system we should be involved in. In fact, while they decide this kind of works, they are supposed to sit with you guys and decide, look, this is the kind of works on priority basis we should be taking up in our ward. This is the money that is going to come and therefore we divide this money on this priority basis, right? So we then we know where is our money going, what kind of work is coming up, what kind of maintenance works, all that is reflected in this list. So we'll also talk about this list and then uh, probably you can also have a look and then try to understand what's going on in your ward. There is each and every work is mentioned there, details are given, money is being spent, the contractor, the starting date to the finishing date of each work in your ward. So all that is given. So please do uh, have a look and try to understand this so that we can engage uh, in a much more informed way, in a better way. So uh, let us uh, close this with a uh, positive thing that we will. We are definitely here to work with you and facilitate uh, to take this forward. Let us begin with that uh, virtual thing if that can be done as quickly as possible and let's identify a few things that we can work on. Also then uh, build accountability with a time frame, right? Let's try to do all this. Uh, we will come back to you. Uh, uh, and thank you all. Uh, I know, sir, Vishal, sir, uh, there are a lot many things to say. I, I have run out of time and uh, I, I have to hop into another meeting at 8.30. At 8.30. We will definitely come back to you. I'm really not going to run away. When will be the follow-up meeting? That's all I want to know. Yes, uh, we will work with the ward committee nodal officer okay. and get him on to the next meetings. As okay. whenever uh, he, we will try to push him 
and then we will see what can be done to uh, idea is to bring him uh, to this kind of meeting so that everybody can have an access to that what coming discussion it like say one month from now will it be a good good uh, uh, duration fairly good uh, duration let's hope uh, to bring it uh, before one month we will uh, try our best to do that and uh, in doing that we will also need uh, your local support uh, from all of you sure. so that uh, we can push these guys to uh, bring out to the table like this right okay, thank you fair enough yeah. thank you okay yeah thank you all thank you all uh, so much for your time and uh, let us hope to see you soon and uh, thank you all once again yeah sir on behalf of uh, all uh, ward 198 hemmingapura citizens you know i want to thank you uh, nbf uh, you know um, mr harish and uh, your team i think we have a long association i think you know uh, which has been quite fruitful many a times and i'm sure uh, you know with this Uh, renewed vigor i think you know uh, we will uh, certainly make it uh, much better uh, going forward thank you very much thank you, thank thank you sir you. thank you so much the whole idea is to make you empowered so that you yourself can start engaging with your local government and that after some time you wouldn't want to see our face so that you can carry on with yourself with the local government that is the situation we want to create so that you you know become empowered uh, to carry on with your works thank you so much good night see you all soon thank you